What we're doing here is reversing all of type 2 diabetes and all its downstream complications with fasting. It's very different than when someone simply cuts calories. Fasting was six times better at getting rid of the dangerous fat. Probably the number one thing that I noticed is, is weight control. I went seven days and lost 20 pounds. I lost 40 pounds. I never gained it back. I've lost close to 100 pounds and still counting. You actually can work out harder than you've ever done. I've always worked out on an empty stomach in a fasted state. I was taking 210 units of insulin a day. I haven't had insulin since. You now think about the fact that 100 million Americans are either diabetic or pre-diabetic. They, they don't have this type 2 diabetes problem anymore. That's all they need to do. It saved my life. It's like better than medicine. There's nothing in medicine today that can induce these effects. I was on medication for high blood pressure as well as for cholesterol. And two weeks later she came in and her blood pressure was normal and I'm no longer taking a statin drug. So your fatty liver is completely reversed. Anti-inflammatory. A host of autoimmune diseases. And that was in 2010, and I haven't had a headache since. It's really not a medical condition, because it's totally reversible. The three most influential people in the history of the world, Jesus Christ, the Prophet Muhammad, and Buddha, probably only agreed on one thing, and that was the power of fasting. Fasting is an essential part of our Christian faith. Christ taught it by his own example. I need to tell everybody about the fasting. I need to tell everybody because I think it's going to save sanity. I think it's going to save lives. At least in my fasting cycles are as powerful as chemotherapy. Continued to see that lump diminish until now it's gone. No cancer. For 21 years, I have been cancer the challenge is about fasting is that there's a lot of misinformation out there and there are several different types. You know, whether you're talking about an overnight fast or you're talking about a 24-hour fast or you're talking about five day or 10 day or 20 day, people and journalists and everybody likes to use the same word, right? And this is very confusing because each turns on a completely different process.